Hi everybody, I'm Trisha from Club Scrap. Thanks for joining us. You know, the last time I did a show called Page Planners, the response was so enthusiastic that we've decided to roll out another set of three fabulous page layout ideas that you can use again and again. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. <laughs> Now our first page plan is called 12 square and it's a really easy way to make 12 equal size squares from only one sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper. The paper we're going to use right now is from Club Scraps Farmer's Market Collection. I'm going to bring this paper over to my favorite friend, the Tonic 12 inch large base guillotine trimmer. Love this trimmer because it gives me that full 12 inch measuring bar across the top here at all times. This lives on my scrapbooking table and it has this handy stabilizing bar that always helps me get an accurate trim. Plus I can cut a hair off of a piece of vellum all the way up to pretty heavy mat board with this trimmer. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the paper into the trimmer portrait orientation at eight and a quarter inches. Then I'll take my thumb and forefinger and stabilize the paper with that bar and then I'll trim. Next thing I'm going to do is slide it down to five and a half inches, stabilize, and trim. Finally, one last vertical cut will be at two and three quarter inches, stabilize, and trim. Now basically what we have are three strips of paper that are all the same width and just a little tiny scrap of paper hanging on the other side that we won't be using. Now what I'm going to do is turn this paper horizontal into the trimmer. My first cut will be at eight and a quarter inches. Now you might be worried about, am I going to remember all these measurements? Don't worry, we're going to have all these measurements in the design guide. The next one is at five and a half, so these measurements will start to sound familiar to you. And then finally, we're going to slide our paper down to two and three quarter and trim. And what I basically have are a stack of papers that are all two and three quarter inches square. And then after I trim these strips in, at the same measurements, I'll have a total of 12 squares, thus the name 12 square. Now I'm going to take this 12 by 12 piece of paper and insert it into the trimmer at 11 inches. What I really want to do is cut an inch off the paper, but rather than put it in at the one inch mark on the trimmer, I put it in at the 11 inch mark and that gives me a much more accurate trim because of this stabilizing effect of that horizontal measuring bar. Next, I'm just going to rotate my paper the other direction so that it's right side up in the trimmer. I'm going to take two inches off the edge, therefore, if the paper is at 12 inches right now, slide it down two inches and if you get yourself in a habit of trimming your paper this way your cuts will be a lot better. All right so now I have all of my cutting complete let's go and assemble the layout. Next we're going to set up our page layout remember those 12 squares that we cut earlier this is really fun all you simply do is lay them out in a row onto one of your 12 by 12 papers. A little tip for you to keep in mind that when you start gluing these into place and attaching them to your page. I use a grid ruler and this is really helpful for easily getting your squares in perfect alignment. And I set my 3 by 14 grid ruler from Club Scrap along the side of my page. Once I have that first column in place, all the other pieces will come into alignment with that. Finally, remember we made those other cuts to the 12 by 12? I'm going to take that piece that we cut off and attach it to this open area that remains on the one side of the 12 by 12 layout and then I'll line up the other piece in the gutter so that these match up. Now my next challenge is to prepare my photos for all these little squares that I have here that are two and three quarter inches square. So for that I'm going to use from Tonic Studios the six inch mini guillotine trimmer. Love this little guy, doesn't take up a lot of room but he sure does a good job for the little pictures like this. I can just take my picture, put it in the trimmer, and I'll stabilize it again, the little mini stabilizing bar, trim it, rotate my picture. At this point, I don't really care about the measurement. I'll get my measurement now. I need it to be two and a half inches square, so once I get my measurement, because I do have a little horizontal measuring bar right here, and I can make my final cut, and now my picture is perfectly trimmed, and it's ready to go on my layout. Let me show you how that layout came completely together with a whole bunch of photos on both sides. Now, on the squares here, I only had one, two, three, four, six pictures that I wanted to put on this page. And in the alternating spaces, I was able to add some tags, some embellishments, some stamped images. And over here on this side, that I can use that open space just to decide however I want to place my photos for the other side of the layout. So that came together very easily 
Now, if you're a little bit concerned about how this kind of a page plan will work for your photos and your papers, let me show you. Here we have the Retro Kit, entirely different color scheme, entirely different topic, and I've even jumbled things around a little bit and switched my grid of those 12 squares over to the other side of the page, and it still looks fabulous. That is 12 square. Let's move on to the next one. It's one of my new favorites. It's called 12 by 12 Freestyle. For this one, all you need are three sheets of 12 by 12 paper, and I'm starting out with this really soft yellow from the Reaching Out Kit. So let's move this on over to our trimmer. I'm going to put the paper in the trimmer at 11 inches because what I want to make is a one inch strip. So this is review. Next, I need a two inch strip. So we move it down to nine inches. Then we need a three inch strip. Move it down to six inches. Now, in our trimmer, we have a piece that measures 6 by 12. This is so easy. I'm going to rotate the piece so it's in the trimmer horizontal, and I'm going to make three 4 by 6 photo mats. You've seen me do this before, but it's one of my favorite tricks. So, move it down to 8 inches. That's our first cut. That will give us a 4 by 6 inch photo mat. Then, I'll slide it down to 4 inches. That will give me three pieces of paper that are all the same size that will house a 4 by 6 photo very easily. Just a little trim horizontal and vertical, and you're good to go. Now, remaining on the side of our trimmer, we have a three inch, a two inch, and a one inch strip. Let's start with our three inch. We're gonna make a couple of cuts, lay it horizontally into the trimmer, and let's make three inch squares out of this. So my first cut will be at nine inches. My next one, at six. And my last one, at three. We're gonna work with the two by 12 right now and we're gonna make two inch squares. So I'm gonna cut on all the even numbers. Now, we have a whole bunch of two by two inch squares. Finally, we have our one by 12. What can we possibly do with that? This is going to be the key to the whole thing. We're cutting that at seven inches. So we have a one by seven and a one by five. That's a lot of numbers, but they're easy to remember and don't forget to look in your design guide to learn them. All of our cutting is done, so let's assemble that page. Okay, so my double page spread begins with two sheets of the yellow printed paper from that reaching out kit. And then, I know they didn't seem important at first, but this one by seven yellow piece will be the positioning piece for our entire layout. Now I'm positioning my ruler one and three quarter inches down from the top edge of my page. And then I'm gonna take this one by seven piece and rest it against the edge of the ruler so that it's nice and straight. Then I'm going to use that to help me place my four by six right here. I'll take two three by threes here and here, and I'm going to finish with a couple of two by twos. And so as you're cropping your photos, you know exactly the measurement they need to be. This is really easy. And then how about two more two by twos right up here? Now what I have is a foundation for one side of my layout. The other half is done in a similar way. We just arrange the squares a little bit differently. This time my guideline is going to be off the right edge of the page. And let's go about, let's just say an inch in from the edge. Remember this guy, the one by five? He almost got thrown away, but he's going to be very useful in helping us position all the other pieces of the page. So if you really wanted to create this layout exactly the way I did, you'd easily be able to do that. Line up our, our four by six photo mat right here. How about two two by twos going this direction? And we only have two three by threes left, and we have one four by six, and I think it's time for another vertical. Position that right there. And now the foundation of our layout is ready for photos. And I love how this turns out. It's so fast and easy, but it looks like you've spent hours. All right, here's the layout. The photos are there. I didn't have to measure anything. I just had to crop my photos, added some embellishments, a little tag, a little stamped image, and I was done. Of course, this is going to work great in any color scheme you happen to have. Here we have sledding on the pond. And this works well, too. I have one more I can't wait to show you. That one I call eight and a half by 11 color blocked. And we're starting with, you guessed it, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. This is from Club Scrap's interior design kit. First one, paper goes vertically into the trimmer at six inches. Line it up, stabilize. Let's take these two pieces and we're gonna stack them together on top of one another and rotate them horizontally. And let's trim this at nine. What you would do is repeat the entire process with an additional sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper, this time using a contrasting color or pattern, which I've already gone ahead and done. 
And then the only other cutting you need to do is create six four and a quarter by five and a half inch photo mats. Now, if you remember this, I've done this before. These are made from cutting a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper in four equal pieces. So it's easy to do. And now let's bring in two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. This is also from the interior design kit and they're mirror images. So the image is completed when they're placed side by side. Now this is the fun part because we can arrange these in a really cool way. Let's start out with our largest piece of blue plain. And let's place it right here, sort of in the gutter of the two layouts, two pages. And then I'm gonna place the opposing piece in the, of the same size on the other side. And we have these other pieces that will also match. So let's place this one, this is the long skinny one, over on this side, and the opposing one over here. So we're just integrating these two pieces of paper in a color blocked style. Finally, we have these shorter narrow ones. Those will go on the top, perfect spot for a title or a page embellishment. And then we have that last piece that will position right here and here. What we have now is a foundation for our photo mats. And what I love about this particular measurement is that they fit absolutely perfect right into that opening. And you may want to vary it up a little bit for the right side of the page. I mean, you can do these out however you wish, like so, any way you want. And, and that will just depend on whether or not the photos you're working with are vertical or horizontal. Let me show you the finished page. Here we have Emily on the swings. I know, makes a lot of sense with the interior design kit, but it works because the colors match beautifully. And you see how everything laid so nicely along with the addition of a few embellishments and the natural spot for the page title. I am finally working on photos from many, many, well, let's not say how many years ago, but this is actually me playing the piano at Miss America. Once again, using the eight and a half by 11 color block technique works beautifully with these elegant photos as well. And we've done a lot of scrapbooking together today, but I wanna point out one thing. These are all the scraps we have left. You know what? I think I'll give these to Bethany. I'm sure she'll find more that she can do with these. Anyway, I do hope that you've learned that being successful in your scrapbooking doesn't necessarily require a whole lot of time. It just requires a little bit of advanced planning. Thanks for joining us for our round two of Page Planners. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.